Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Saturday, October 15th, 2022. It is 11.54 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia blog entry for today. Um, today is my birthday. I turned 57 years old. Um, so I'm not real happy about that because as I get older, I get slower. I'm not 20 years old anymore. Um, but anyways, as far as my psychiatric symptoms today, my paranoia is pretty strong. My anxiety levels are pretty high. My auditory hallucinations are pretty intense. I just took my new medications. Um, I still have some uh, clonopin if I need it. Um, my depression is pretty severe. Um, I'm in control of my behavior. I'm not suicidal, I'm not violent, um, but my anxiety levels are pretty intense. I always feel today like I'm on the verge of a panic attack. I don't have much motivation to do anything, but nonetheless, I'm still trying to stick to my daily schedule. I still have to do my walking exercises and my physical therapy exercises. Um, after having surgery on May 13th on my right knee. Um, it's very painful in my muscles when I'm walking, possibly because I'm overweight, but also because I don't do enough exercise in general with my legs. Um, so I do take Cymbalta for physical pain, which is, a, I believe it's an SSRI antidepressant, but I'm taking it for pain. Um, nerve pain, muscle pain, joint pain, um, pain in my skin, um, taking Neurotin for nerve pain, and uh, Flexoil for muscle and back pain and spasms. Um, I did get a orthopedic specialist to look at my lower back. Um, and the lowest disc in my spine is very worn down so it causes some minor pain it doesn't require surgery or anything as long as i continue to do physical therapy exercises for my back and other other parts of my body that are designed to strengthen my muscles and reduce overall physical pain um uh, i saw my therapist this past week i saw my peer support specialist we just went over how things were going. Um, it is true that I haven't been to the psychiatric emergency room in a long time, only about two times in the past year, a couple of months ago in uh, October 30th of last year, and this is October 15th. So in the past year, I've only gone to the psychiatric emergency room twice, which is a new record for me because over the past several years I was going to the psychiatric emergency room as much as twice a month. Not necessarily every month, but some months I was going twice a month. Um, but I'm feeling generally more stable. Even though today my symptoms are pretty intense, I still have a sense of control over my behavior, over what I'm doing, um, living my life and keeping things together, just basic things like doing my laundry, keeping my apartment clean, um, paying my rent and bills on time, um, running errands, food shopping, um, picking up my prescriptions, doing any kind of government paperwork that has to be done, just generally trying to cope with daily activities. I'm still doing pretty well in that area. Um, I do kind of feel like crap today, but it's not so bad that I can't function. Or, and certainly not anywhere near as bad that I would have to go to the psychiatric emergency room. Um, my sleep has been okay. Um, I got stuff on my lips from uh, nicotine lozenges. Um, but anyways, um, now I lost my train of thought. But uh, everything's going pretty good today. Um, I am using nicotine lozenges. 
I haven't had a cigarette in a year, and I'm still addicted to nicotine. Um, I don't know when I'm going to try to start reducing how much nicotine I take in and then finally quit it. Um, I've been focused on not having cigarettes so much as I haven't given much thought to quitting nicotine altogether. Um, so, and it's very expensive. I'm buying my own nicotine lozenges and they're like 30, 40, 50 dollars a box, depending on what size and dose you get. Um, in New York State, and I believe in all 50 states, you can buy nicotine lozenges and nicotine gum and nicotine passage, uh, patches, skin patches over the counter. You certainly can in New York State. I don't need a physician's prescription to get nicotine lozenges. Um, but they are expensive if your insurance doesn't cover them. Um, so there's not much else to report right now. Um, I'm just going to try to have the best birthday that I can have today.